Yo, 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 King Erna coming to you live and direct. Today's topic is on Wayne Perry. I got to speak on Wayne Perry, man. So many dishonorable rats have been spoken on for the last couple weeks that I got to bring forth the men of honor, the ones that no one knows if they are guilty or not guilty. The reason why no one knows if they're guilty or not guilty is because you got guys like Alpo who's saying that these guys are guilty of some type of crime. And the worst part about that is that you can't take from what Apple says. It's just like in the um, court of law, if a witness is getting on the stand to convict the convict, uh, um, defendant, whatever that person says, if that person has any type of past of lying or being some type of criminal, we can't believe it. But yet in the government, they're able to somehow you know, produce this hearsay law and send people to jail. Wayne Perry caught the tail end of the stick of a negative situation and um, didn't even have to get, you know, involved with this chump. You know what I'm saying? But what ended up happening is guys like Alpo, who get to a big bag and um, plan on telling, they seek out the individuals like Wayne Perry and they seek to do something that's very big. Something he knew that he done something he knew that Wayne Perry would honor. Everybody else, all the big time drug dealers was leaving Wayne Perry in jail in the case that he had prior to the case that he's locked up for now. And they wasn't bailing him out. So Alpo, being a you know, a, a killer at a time and a uh what I would call a hell of a businessman, he sought out this boy, man. And he done something for him big. And he knew from him being in the streets and coming up that Wayne Perry would honor that, right? And, you know, what that done was put Wayne Perry by his side. And because Wayne Perry had a lot of honor in D.C., he knew that he would be safe having him on his hip. So Wayne Perry was on his hip. He made a lot of false accusations about Wayne Perry put out a lot of bad rumors. The government put out a lot of bad rumors about Wayne Perry claiming he was gay. And I can't believe any of them. How can I believe a, um, the government when they polluted our community for so long now? How could I believe a guy like Alpo when who he, he, he is who he is? I mean, I know he's happy he's home now. He's able to sleep in the bed and um, get up and uh, probably lie on some other individuals. He's probably lying on people as we speak. But that's not what we're here today about. We're here about Wayne Perry. And um, a lot of people talk bad on him. They say that he murdered a lot in their city. I don't know the proof of this. When y'all start giving me clippings or telling me things about Wayne Perry that is negative, that I can go ahead and say, you know what? But damn, you know, he didn't take whatever he'd done. And so far, even if he did do these things, he hasn't spoken against him and said, I didn't do him. His silence is of honor. His silence proves that also he's a humble man and that he's a Muslim because he could speak out. Every year he could speak out trying to get out of jail on it, you know what I mean? And from what I've seen, he spoke out quietly. And, you know, guys like him, you know, they can get a lot of help from the streets, you know what I'm saying? The reason why I can get a lot of help from the streets because unlike Alpo, his name is good, you know what I'm saying? Um, D.C., they love Wayne Perry, but there's a lot of other individuals that was caught up that Alpo told on that was from D.C. He told on a lot of individuals. And what a lot of people don't know about Alpo, what a lot of people don't know about AZ is that they've been telling prior to this. And it was they probably both were nine times out of ten jealous of Rich Porter because you know Rich, you know, his character and his honor preceded them and himself. You know, he was young, getting a lot of money, and the way he was flashy with it, he gave style to it, you know what I mean? And that's come from having a culture that we have anywhere. We have style. But I can't go to bed at night knowing that Wayne Perry is being accused of being this bad individual all because an individual that was 90% worse than him um, created a lot of the negativity, um, made up a lot of the plays, a lot of the moves to bust on different dudes, you can't take from him. You can't take from individuals like that. It's just like in Islam. If a sheikh is of wrong, we don't take from him, right? Correct. 
So I want everybody from the streets to start honoring Wayne Perry. How about dudes that don't know him? Start sending him letters and, you know, find out what's the truth about what's going on. I'm pretty sure all these years of him being in prison, he don't have a problem with coming forth and speaking some truth. But the man has been on been in life, been, been doing life for a long time. I mean, he was an ADX for old man. I mean, he was in a lot of different things and, you know, a lot of different positions. When you get men like that, that don't speak too loud and is not hurry to bash individuals or get on these platforms and even mention Cameron name. I mean, um, damn, see how I get them both mixed up? Cam, you got to do something, man. You got to fix your honor because this part you played and the way you carried it, it got me feeling like you similar to him. Like y'all all got the same kind of aura, especially that protection thing that you put up about how anybody could be anybody and mace the same thing. I mean, y'all dudes act like y'all y'all got honor in y'all heart. You can't speak in like that coming from the city y'all have. You got to realize you got another good man that's from Harlem. Guy Fisher. Guy Fisher been in jail for how long? I heard rumors that supposedly he was pardoned or whatever the case may be. If he is pardoned, a humdity lad. But he was arrested and put in jail all because he had sex with a female who was what? Who was supposed to be Nikki Barnes' woman, man. It irritates me to hear these stories because it's about our people. You mean to tell me our people have this type of animosity against one another that they tell on one another about? A female? Now, who's to say that? Nikki Barnes was telling the truth. No one knows. But I had to stop by. And anybody who's watching this video, I want you to give me the proof. Give me the proof of Wayne Perry. Give me the wrongs that you claim that he's done. Give me the wrong things. I mean, I don't care what Google says because Google could be lying because Google got the story from who? Alpo. So I want to know from individuals, individuals that knew Wayne Perry, you know what I'm saying? Individuals that had honor for Wayne Perry, man. Is the government lying, putting out the rumor saying that he's gay? Is um, Alpo lying, calling him all these things he's saying? And I'm going to say, I'm going to stand on that Alpo is a, poor, uh, uh, is a poor liar, and he's a pure liar, and he's the worst kind of liar. The government fed into it only so they can have him come back out in 20 years. And he probably was home before then, but some of us missed it. But Alpo, a.k.a. King of the Rats, stay in your hole, cuz. Stay where you at, man. You ain't want it. You can't come through, man, and stand on that stage Rich did. You ain't got the honor that Rich Porter had. You know what I'm saying? Every young dude, dark-skinned brother, especially they got money at a time, had that same type of honor, man, and they could pull up and come through. You was an attention seeker, Alpo. You was an attention seeker. And soon or later, you're going to come out, but you're just jealous and you're mad because you can't come out now. So you're using your sons to try to come out because you want that shine, but ain't nobody going to give you that recognition. Although Cameron and Mace said what they said and they didn't really throw you under the bus, I bet you they, they ain't going to give you that recognition. Damn Dash ain't going to give you that recognition. Nobody from New York that got some honor in their heart is going to give you that recognition. You know why? Because you're a piece of trash, man. And them two mice, your sons that you got running around, who's speaking up and saying, you know, this and that and a third about you and blah, blah, blah. One started off, all right, I ain't talking about the other guy, Paparazzi, the gay guy, whoever he is. I ain't talking about him. I'm talking about the other son, who he sounded like he was standing firm but he kind of stood firm with his pop too. And you know, you know, everybody was raised different. I know my pop told on something. And um, if I was a part of the streets with my pop and my, and you know, whatever the case may be, I'm off of him. I can't run around with an individual that I call my dad and a rat. You can't be both, you only could be my dad. You can't be my dad and a rat. So Wayne Perry, Man of Honor, Everybody, if you can, reach out to him, find out where he's at, write him letters, and let him know, man, that it's good men out here that's repping his name, giving him an honorable name, and saying that one day he will be of the guys who speak to the younger individuals and telling them that prison isn't the way and getting in trouble in the streets. And I, I got faith in that. I got faith if I got in contact with that brother, man, or if any of you got in contact with that brother, 
that brother is doing the right thing. From some of the videos I heard him speak on, he's talking positive and more than anything, he's speaking on his honor, man. I'm King Runner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Honor those that was here before, that was wrongfully accused and put in prison. King Runner live and direct.